so well, the number three prop. I like the contest at the breakdown, Robbie. It's just they're going at each other. Oh, steps on the inside. What an offload. The Dragons are sensing something here, Robbie. Well, the momentum's coming now. It's about the seventh or eighth phase. Chiniwa. He has the man again. That's the try scorer from the first half. Musa. Dragons building it up. George Zetima. Good hands. Swung to the ground. Onto the 10 yard. Good line of defense coming up. Rash defense by uh, Madi Mutsira. Put all sorts of pressure. Good defense. They're getting them going backwards. It's a good leg drive there by uh, Rufara Shenje. Get the penalty. Well, my apologies. It was Kudzai Chenda. The big number five. Did really well there. The, the vice. Oh, they take it. They're going to go for touch. Yep, I've just noticed Robbie, the vice president of Zimbabwe rugby, is here watching the future of uh, Zimbabwe rugby players. Mr. Lawson Mutongwiza. Oh, what a legend he is. Yep, absolutely. Played, absolutely. played a lot of rugby, did Lawson. Yep. Was he quite, a, a, quite a smooth oak as well. Was he a lock? Was he a forward? He was number six. He was a number six. Tough as nails. You must have been a lock. I was, uh, I, th I thought I was an eight, but I was always thrown back into the engine room. Is it there? <laughs> is it? <laughs> How's it? Always thrown back into the engine room, so. <laughs> but that's where the hard yards are done, uh, yeah. TC. One, make, two, three, make, four, and five. Make, make the backs look good. Yes, we give them the ball. I, I played a lot of rugby on, on video games. <laughs> <laughs> to hope it to feed. <laughs> wow, this is where they're dangerous. They've got to consolidate. They've got to pack in. You've got to get a nice shot at the back then. You've got to drive. They've done so well. And here we go. It this goes again. Of them. This it is goes the again. Chohope is in there. Here he goes. Talent on the is line. Down on his knees. Talent is crawling. Talent is searching. Well, talents. Held up. Talents held up. Says held up. How you get to well, see that? You could I don't not. Know. You could not call that. There were bodies everywhere, and let's. This is uh, going to be sad to see. Kutsudwa Musa. Musa at the on the floor now. He has had an incredible game. This young man. I guess it's a tough call to make that one, Robbie. How, how do you call that with no? TV umpire. No, there's just too many. There's just too many bodies there. TC, too many hands. And if he had awarded the try, I think it's the same. How would he have seen that? You would ask. You certainly ask uh, questions there. Eh? Mm. See Brendan Bryder in the background there. He's been part of uh, St George's for donkeys years, I think it is. Yep. Moving on next year. Headmaster. Headmaster. Yep. He's going to take over from Paul Davis. And head up Ruzawi School. Beautiful little country school out in Marundera there. Well, he has the replay. It was a fantastic jump there. Uh, I think it was uh, right at the back. It was um, with Kenny. And you can just see um, Cody Cooper, knowing his rules. Cody Cooper really did well there because he was borderline. He was borderline off sides, but he was just not, just not getting noticed. And that's what's brilliant about the number seven. Right, we're back live. And it's the Dragons on attack. Titima. Just, just outside the, the, the 22. Shimmy. Oh, it's no. a shimmy. It's a go. It's all the way through. Tinashe Mutanga. That is poor defense, Robbie. But credit must be given to Tinashe Mutanga. I mean, he's got number four on Whoa. the back of his jersey. Whoa. And he's running like he's got 12 Whoa. on the back of his jersey. Well, I said to you, the tight five are very important in rugby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go, Robbie. But, oh, wow. What a try. Laps in concentration there from the Peterhouse defenders. And, wow, they got punished for that. 10 all with a kick to come. Game on. Game on. Tinashe Mutanga has brought the Dragons in. 
They're breathing fire. He has the replay. This young man has been incredible, George de Timmer. It, it's the show and go that gets me bang, bang, oh, he left, right. There was a slip there by the, by the Kings player. Waltz through the gap there. And Cody <laughs> Cooper just couldn't catch him there. Tinashe Mudanga. And the man who started that attack is going to try and add the extras here to get them up for the first time in this game, Robbie. Head down for a three, George Ditema. Oh. Goodness me. Well, how important is that kick going to come back and bite? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. I'm awestruck. That's kick off again. Lovely take there by, by Georges. Well, we've got a game on our hands now. 10 all. We're in Arari, Zimbabwe, and it's the Dragons breathing fire. This is Detima again. Oh, excuse me, please take a seat. <laughs> Get out of the way. This bus is full. Famba Zaganaga. Catch the next one. Still going are the Dragons. Pukeni, this young man still going. Musa, Musa. Illegally stolen there, it's but they're still there. on the rampage. Pukeni doing really well. What can we do? Short pass. Brilliant. Samuel. Nika Varanda. The short pass by the, the prop, the number one. The tight five just keep on rolling. Pidas has just switched off, Robbie. In the last couple of minutes, they've switched off. They're not wanting to defend. What's happening? They need to get back in this because it's dangerous territory now. Let's change that. The dragons have woken up. <laughs> the fire is coming out. Like this there, that, that should have been a tackle. That should have been a tackle. Third attempt, he goes to ground. Have a look here. An attempt to steal the ball. Advantage was out. Now they send it out on the right side. Good tackle there. Here comes the lapse in concentration and defense. They send it out there. The short pass. This one. That should have been dealt with there, but instead he was let go. Oh, how good was that from, uh, from Samuel Nika Varanda? Just that short pop. He just knew where, where that support was. The short little pop. Oh, how the tides have turned, yeah. At the home side. He missed again. Oh, that's, uh, that's four points down the drain. We potentially could be at 19-10 right now. It's unfortunate. George Detema, he's had such a good game. I hope for the, uh, he can get his kicking right because those points are going to be critical when it comes down to the wire. Absolutely, Robbie. Lovely hanging kick there by what? Whoa, here we go. It's the defense, Robbie. It's poor. Vula get. It's a pass inside. The Dragons on fire. you got to watch out. Sharma. Jackson. He's Sharma got gas. Jackson. He's got gas, Robbie. Plenty of gas to burn. He's out here. He scores these 60 meters tries like he's playing in the garden, Robbie. Whoa. They, they talk about a walk in the park. That young man, he, he is on fire. That is how you turn defense into attack, Robbie. Sharma Jackson has been incredible this season. And has he pulled it out and given... Just look at this. Well, we thought uh, the Dragons were all the way through. Then, here comes the Jet Shoes, the, the fend off the left. Then it's the swerve, as I was talking earlier. Arm in the right hand, and it's goodbye, nurse. And sweet dreams. Have a nice night. Well, I think it's nightmares at this stage. Uh, and, Robbie... Those two, those two kicks he missed. Had he got those two, St. George's would still be leading this game. Absolutely. Costly. Yeah, those, key, those key kicks when you're close to the, close to the poles. 
It's a sitting duck. Yeah, you got to get them. You got to get them. They so would still be up by two if they had those kicks through. Let's not take it away from Ditima. He's had a really good game so far. Oh, he's just got to watch out for his Sharma Jackson. He did it against St. John's. He's done it again, yeah. What? Banging them downfield. Well, it's all going all the way down. Just outside. Oh, That's a knock on by the Dragons. Word. It's all over the place. Dion Junga. How costly will that be? He lifted his head there. Any, any youngster watching out there, make sure you've got the ball in possession before you try and lift your head. And tell you what, Peter House number two, Simbarashi Mudimu is absolutely pumped up. He walked to this scrum and he was just telling everyone, come on guys, let's do this. Well, this is, this is what they need. They need that little injection of, uh, of confidence and I think this is what it is. Shama Jackson once again giving that injection of, of confidence by an outstanding individual try. Yeah, absolutely. You need that, eh? That just, just builds the team up. Looks like we're going to have a little move here. 8, 9, 11, maybe. Oh, it's gone to 9. Here comes 14. No, Robbie. You've got to be kidding me. Mpofu. That knock-on was costly for them. Mpofu. Ouch. Ouch. Tanatsua Mpofu adds another 5. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Well, did he run out of the dead ball line? Hang on. It's a try. It's a try, Robbie. Well, TC just playing with our feelings, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> well, that knock on, Robbie. We anticipated TC a big oh. game in the second half. Little did we expect the brilliance that has come from both sides. But uh, Shama Jackson, both wingers, and Mpofu from the Kings just absolutely annihilating the defense. And like it's done in this game, it's swung again. It's swung again. Look at that scoreline, 22-15 with a kick to come. Well, it's almost swung like a homesick mole, TC. <laughs> Brennan won. What? Brennan won. What? Brennan. Does he add the extras? There That's how is. to do it. There he is. Brennan Watt back on the scoreboard again. Well, he wasn't going to miss too many. Brilliant move. And it was, as we see, just the drawn pass there by uh, Moringa. And the power, the jet use. Good knowledge as well to make sure he doesn't run over that dead ball because it is, it is uh, narrow. And good decency as well to come in and make it kickable for his uh, fly half there. Brennan Watt who adds the extras. Pressure on now for the Dragons. They're going to need to score twice to get in the lead. Well, I was going to say that right now. Uh, they're going to have to come back and score a try if they want any chance in this game. 50 minutes down. Here we go. The Kings. Secure possession. Good, very good work there. But uh, Anasha Chiope just, sorry, my apologies, uh, Mudiwa. Mudimu just didn't have, uh, have the support there. Ah, oh, this game. Can it throw anything else at us, Robbie? Will it throw anything else at us? Chipa Mwanga, head down, follow through. Well, we hope so. We hope. Because it's uh, this has been an incredible game. The excitement, just even the commentary box here has been, uh, it's been electric. They're keeping me on the edge of my seat, these youngsters. Uh, we love rugby, that's for sure. Right, feed coming in. Chohope. Right, they've got to, they've got to use their, their strengths now. This is their strengths. Chohope at the back. Tanashi Mudanga putting the hard yards in. The try scorer, the big number four. Chohope at the back. Well, the boys standing around, they've got to get stuck in. They've got to get their heads in. Here go the Dragons. Ditima. Ditima absolutely manhandled there. Mago Tugona just absolutely manhandled him. Big leg drive coming in from the young fella. An unnecessary slap there after uh, tackling him to ground. He's still whinging about it. Why are you clapping me? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you clapping me? I'm sure that's what he was saying. 
What do you think the response was? See the score there. 24. Chupiras, St. George's 15. Read the scoreboard. <laughs> Clap that. Clap that. <laughs> Two. Yeah, especially when, you're, when the scoreboard's that big. <laughs> it's really in your face. Hard to miss. <laughs> Got to be honest, nice to have a nice big scoreboard like that. It is very nice. For us uh, older folk that are... And the driver's coming through. This is the strength of the Dragons. They've scored two. Can they score three? What's Brilliance! Lovely, lovely, lovely work there by Michael Chiniwa. Hmm, it swung again. <laughs> oh. The swing keeps on swinging, TC. Important kick. They've changed the kicker now. Probably running low in confidence. So they've had a new kicker now to add the two kicks. The two points. Let's watch the replay, yeah. I, w I was going to say, Michael Chiniwa, don't break too soon. And he just looked up. If Just watch this. And you can see, bang! And there's just a little show and go. Lovely work by the scrum off. Or universally, the halfback. <laughs> Changing kicker, Nashe Chapamwanga. Head down, follow through. These kicks are costly. Well, if you think that's another another two points, potentially six points uh, that are down the drain, would have put them at 30, TC. Yep. Just shows how important your kicker is. And it's kick off by what? Nice and deep. Going there by uh, the Dragons. Cody Taylor there again. Sorry, Cody uh, <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my. That was Jack Jack uh, Bicknell, the number six. He's. I've been watching him. He's doing some hard yards in the in the off the ball. His defence and his racking has just been outstanding as the number six. Great turnover there, great win, and they're going quickly. Robbie, they want to add more points here. It's the scrum off who's had a good game, and he's got that physicality as well to say, excuse me, sit down. Andrew Moringa, well played. Here come Peterhouse, Robbie, they're coming down the short side, an overhead pass there. It's a knock-on, surely. Yes, it is an advantage. Well, you've got, to play to the, you've got to play to the whistle. There's an injury on the field as well. The ref is saying play on. Big, big hard work there by the Kings. Off the ball stuff happening. Muru Mutsira. Manu Mutsira. Here goes Cody Cooper. Big work by the prop. Kachambwa. Great run, Robbie. Inches close now. Fancy nine darting to score. Sends it to 15. Bashes his way forward. Hayden Try Grant. Time. Hayden Grant. Oh. Whoa, just brilliant play. Talking point? Certainly is a talking point. I think uh, I think it should have been stopped. Because play was fairly close to that. It was close, but I think they were going moving away from play. Well. Anyway, tell you the what, Peter's Peter won't be complaining. The rest is history. There's McMillan in picture now. Definitely carrying an injury. Would have loved to be out there. Have a look at the replay. This was way after the injury, but they phased up a brilliant carry here from Kudakwashe Kachambo. He just kept going. Got closer and closer and closer to the line. Was brought short about a meter and a half. Have a look at how they played this one. I initially thought the scrum off. Moringa was going to play this. He handed it to Grant Hayden. Grant Hayden bashed his way forward. Scored a try. Uh, Hayden Grant did so well there. He did so well. Um, but if you look at that, that side pass as well, that's uh, out the one hand from uh, Cody Cooper. He's mm. sucking in two, three defenders. And that pass is coming through. Very well done. And he's kicked well all day, hasn't he? Brennan Watt, he will fancy himself to take this into the 30s. That's a lovely kick. Just hits that ball so sweetly. You could have heard a pin drop. It's it was so like quiet. Sweet there. like chocolate mousse. 
Yeah. Yo. You could have heard a pin drop in the lead up to that Absolutely. Kick. It was dead hush. Well, we've, it's been a game, a ping pong series. Tries coming from either side, and then uh, Pidas have just opened up the floodgate slightly. Mouth watering stuff for schoolboy rugby here in Harare, Zimbabwe. You have just joined us. Very good afternoon. You're with me, Robbie Durant and TC. I think it could slip away here from St. George's if they don't score points in the next couple of minutes, Robbie. They need to get back onto that scoreboard. Well, that's a huge kick all the way down into 22 territory of uh, the Dragons. What can they conjure up? It's 31-20 to Pidas. Good leg drive coming up there, just outside the 10 yard. Good, good, clean uh, hits coming through there, and here we go. Knock on there by uh, the Dragons, just outside the halfway line. Big Namet Rufara Shenje, he's the captain of Zimbabwe under 18s. Cravenwick side. It's interesting to see in uh, St. George's, they all drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Irish coffee. Irish coffees, yeah. Well, the big boy is coming off. And the big boy is coming on. That is good work by, uh, by the front row. Sixty minutes gone. Could we see the Dragons come back, or are we going to see Pidas? Eleven points is a lot now, Robbie. Given uh, where this game is at, uh, they're going to need to score soon. <laughs> are we going to see Pidas stamp the authority now? Just in the picture prior, we saw uh, Young McMillan coming onto the field. You'd see, you'd know he'd be very gutted to not be playing today. Mm. I rate that kid substantially. His distribution, left and right, is just uh, probably one of the best I've seen in Zim so far. And it's a step. Mpofu. Oh. Arm is out for Arm advantage. Arm is out, absolutely. Cooper over the ball again. He does some hard work, doesn't he? Yeah, he's worked hard. Poles. Yep. Yeah. It's been a long season. Just slowly tick the boxes and uh, get over the line for this game. You've got another hard game coming up next week. Against the Rams. That's in Marindera. No, it's at, it's at, at St. John's. John's. Huge day coming coming up there next week as well. Our entire team's going to be there. Sand Sport Live, part of the CBZ Ruck Show. We are going to be covering it from 12 o'clock. The St. John's playing against the OG's Barbarians. Oh, nice. So that's going to be great at 12. And then we've got the build up to the main game coming up. We're going to have our set there, the CBZ Ruck Show. It's going to be epic. Looking at, forward to it. At St. John's. And you're going to be in the commentary box. Yep, looking forward to that as well. Love it. Head down. Follow through. It's another one for Brennan Watt. Jeez, he's kicked well. Eh? Yeah, Brennan Watt is uh, a class on his own. He is a class on his own. Natural, just a natural hit of the ball. Doesn't put himself under pressure, even when he's under pressure. He takes his time, and that's where he doesn't make a mistake. Looking bleak now for St. George's. Can they bounce back? Can they come back and win this game? It looks very difficult from here on. It's getting very dark overhead as well, TC.
George de Timmer to uh, see what they can conjure up. And just couldn't get his hands. The ball was uh, number 14, Ethan Chopunda. Well, we've certainly seen Ulala la rugby. Can you hear the kids <laughs> in the background? Uh, Don't know how much rugby they're actually watching. Maybe they're watching on, on our screen here, but yeah, ooh-la-la la, it is. Well, to paint a picture, there's a big tree right behind us, and uh, these three kids are in there. You can hear them. Loving, loving life at this stage. So am I. <laughs> 63 minutes gone. So at 63 minutes, St. George's. 20. Right. These boys are on fire. Can they come back? Just repeat that. Repeat that. Well, Hellenic taking on uh, Falcon today. Interesting to find out that score. Well, interesting, interesting uh, choice here to go for poles. Or well, takes points up, takes it to 23 34. Chipamwanga, head down. Well, that's three points. Six, going on 65 minutes played here at St. George's College. Taking on Peterhouse from Marindera. It's been a nail bout of a game. And the brilliance of uh, Sharma Jackson. Individualistic brilliance. Well, Shane, the poor guy was sidestepping himself there, but uh, didn't make much, much room there. TC went uh, across the 22. Yep, they've got no choice now but to run it from deep. The Dragons, they need to score points. Oh, what a run. What a line. To Tima. This is where they're dangerous. This is where they're dangerous, but uh, just couldn't get it. Jack Bicknell. That was his uh, little bit of brilliance that was going to come there. That was going to be his claim to fame for sure. <laughs> yeah. But unfortunate. Sixty-six minutes gone. Peterhouse in the white, playing from left to right. Can we see some magic? Abracadabra. Bring it on. It's a scrum down on the St. George's 10 yard. It's a pick and go. Good work there by Rafara Chenje. Oh, stolen. Stolen. This is where there's danger. Lovely work there by Hedden Grant. Brings the ball back in to Mpofu. Oh, the boys have to just keep their cool. It's been a good, clean game. Being called forward there. Well, a good friend of ours used to say, played for all Georgians. Dave Kirkman played there as well. Rugby's not uh, tiddlywinks, bro. <laughs> One of the legends from uh, Marindera, Dion Westhuizen. <laughs> Sixty-seven minutes gone. Thirty-four points. Pitas. St. George's twenty-three. Feed comes in from Michael Chinoa. Losing footing there slightly. Do you reckon 
St. George's can get back in this, Robbie. Anything can happen in rugby in 10 minutes. It'll be spectacular if it does. I think St. George's slightly let it slip. Their, their strengths were their forwards, and they just let it slip slightly. As the captain of uh, the Cravenwick side, Rufara Shenje gets the ball away to Mpukweni. Mpukweni. Just couldn't get the ball through. This is uh, Chuponda. Good ball retention there. Takes play onto the 10 yard of the Dragons. Oh, just uh, they're trying to conjure up something. They're trying to get something special happen. Who can do this? It's going to take an act of brilliance, yeah? It is. They need something very special. Chohope gets over the game line really well. Over the 10 yard. Deep kick down to George Detima. He bangs it right down to the right side of the field. Here we go. He has the act of brilliance we needed. <coughs> Chipondo. Is that going to be a penalty try, I wonder? Chipondo. We asked for an act of brilliance. Ethan Chipondo was that call. If they can pull this through. Just focus on the replay, yeah. It was a deep pass. Good long kick across to, from George Ditima. Lovely bounce comes up there for Ethan Chapondo. Oh, TC. What happened? Uh, I wonder why they stopped play. Interesting. We're on the 70 minute, 70 minute mark. One of the good clashes of this year's schoolboy rugby schedule. It's been exciting stuff. Specifically that second half with uh, Sharma Jackson coming in with an incredible try. And let's not forget uh, number four's try from the Dragons to Nashim Mundanga. Penalty try, I called it. This is why you played tight five. Yellow card. And a yellow card as well. Well, this is something that uh, the Kings don't need. It certainly is going to put a lot of pressure on them now. Penalty try. Does the plot thicken? Is this not the end of the story? So that's an immediate seven points. Was it... Uh... I don't know if that warranted the penalty. I've got a very try. unconvinced uh, co commentator here. Yeah, well. Oh, well. It is 34 30. Game on. Well, now we've got a game. Nine. Well, the ref is uh, the ref has called it. That is it. Well, TC, your, your opinions. TC, your opinions. Well, I I'd like to have seen another five minutes in that game, Robbie. It would have been so interesting. Uh, they finished there, but a deserved win, I think, for Peter House. They played good rugby. They played consistent rugby more than. Uh, St. George's did, but wow, what a game we were treated to. Well, let me tell you, it was an incredible game here at uh, St. George's College. Uh, that is a wrap-up. Peter House, 34, St. George's, 30. We're going to catch you next week at St. John's. Don't miss it. It's going to be on Super Sports Schools as well as Kairos Page. Check you next week from myself, Robbie, and TC. Cheerio.